Live from New York City, it's The Cube. Here is your host, Jeff Frick. Hi, Jeff Frick here. We are on the ground at the Cube's fifth birthday party at Big Data NYC. We just came off our first uh, Capital Markets event, and now we're having a little Cube party. So it's an exciting time. Want to give you a little flavor of what's going on. We're joined by one of our favorite guests, Merv Adrian from Gardner. Merv, welcome. Hi, Jeff. Good to be here. So, uh, so what do you think of the show going on? Is it Jab? It's a huge venue, a lot of people. Uh, maybe the most dysfunctional large venue in in the business. Um, a triumph of form over function, right? Yes. Yes. Beautiful big spaces that dwarf the people inside them and tiny little rooms that are all overcrowded. The yeah, thing sold out early. Um, but nonetheless, very exciting. Biggest yet. Um, lots of buzz. Lots of suits. You know, we've watched that happen over the right, last couple right. of years. Always the, the trans transformation that you look for. Early mainstream adopters everywhere thinking about entirely different questions in the last few strata. So is this secure? Can I govern this? Um, what if it fails in the middle? Does it restart? All those questions that Hadoop people don't like to answer. Right, right. Um, so very and that, different. And that are not POC questions. Those are uh, those I actually are, want to do production. Those are, I'm thing. finished with the POCs. I want to put this in production. Can you help me now? Uh, well, yeah, I hope so. Let me see if I got a partner. Right. So you, you know <laughs> we love partners. the sports analogy. You're a Bay Area Bay Area guy. Giants are playing tonight. Hopefully to uh, to take it all. We ask this question all the time. It's, it's always a fun one. What, what inning are we uh, on this adoption curve for Hadoop? Deployment-wise, bottom yeah. of the first. Bottom of the first? You bet. Wow. We've got 73% of the people in the Gartner Research Circle survey saying they're investing in big data. Um, number one investment vehicle, enterprise data warehouse. Number two investment vehicle, the cloud. Number three investment vehicle, Hadoop. Then you ask them about deployment. A year ago it was 8%. This year it's up to about 13 So we're just getting, in a nine inning game, maybe it's the, you know, maybe it's the top of the second. Okay. But we're just getting rolling here. And what do you think is the next, uh, the next domino to fall that we've got to get over to, to help accelerate that adoption? Well, two things I think is, is the expansion of the use cases. And the headline here is Spark. And Spark is a whole set of different use cases. We're not just talking analytics anymore. We're talking about data processing. We're talking about event streaming. Um, we're talking about a completely different class of, of uses. That stuff, of course, is where SQL was a year and a half ago. It's like teenage sex, right? right. It's being talked about. Nobody's really doing it. Well, no, wait. I know, I know some teenagers. Um, so, yeah, can that. Can that. Um, it's all right. But, <laughs> but, but, but it is happening, and the guys at Databricks who were commercializing Spark watched the way the ecosystem grew early, figured out how powerful that model is, and so even before they have significant adoption by any mainstream customers, they've already lined up the partners, everybody's lining up to support the product. Clear Story got on stage during the keynote today, talked about how they built their whole product on Spark, which is remarkable. I mean, they made a very early bet, could turn out to pay off big for them. So that's a big change. Um, what I didn't hear today and what I expected to hear this time was a lot of talk about Apache Kafka, which is an ingest protocol for this stuff. Okay. Um, didn't get a lot of noise and that's probably to the good because we've talked before about how security is one of the big gaps in the stack right now. Right, right. Nothing is less secure than Kafka is. And I guess given the name... Well, maybe that's maybe that's why maybe. it wasn't uh, brought up. Maybe I mean, it makes was, sense. Uh, Who would be I more insecure than in Kafka? Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But but nobody is right now. Yeah. So um, that's a that's a big, big issue. Um, and and the floor was crawling with people whose job it is to remediate. So, you know, you've got people who are doing data governance, you've got people who are doing security, people who are doing deployment optimization, automation, virtualization, all of these things that are going to surround the stack and make it more manageable, more consumable by mainstream buyers, because those are the guys who are coming to the party now. Right, right. So. Well, Merv, thanks for stopping by, giving a little insight. Again, Always I'm Jeff player. Frick. We're on the ground at the, the Cube's fifth birthday party at Big Data NYC. And happy birthday, Cube. Thank you very much. You're welcome.